All right, in this tutorial, uh, this is how you will go ahead and perma temp root your HTC Evo 3D in one click. Well, that's what they say, it's one click, but you know, eh, it's better than actually having to go into the code and you know, try to hack stuff. Anyway, so I did not come up with this, uh, with this procedure at all. This was actually uh, pulled together by a guy named Panamaniac on XDA Developers who pulled together scripts made by other people um, to basically perma -temp -root it, temp root your phone. And there's also a fix so you can watch Hulu on a browser as well as overclock your Evo 3D to 1.8 gigs. Now, please note that this tutorial is only for educational purposes. If for any reason you happen to turn your phone to an expensive paperweight by following this tutorial, it is uh, of no fault of my own. And I will not, cannot be held responsible for any misfortunes caused by following this tutorial. Now that we got that out of the way, um, part one is going to be your pro. You, you're going to have to have the Android SDK set up, as well as the uh, HTC Android USB drivers for Microsoft PCs. Um, you can get that if you have Sync installed, um, but if you don't, um, there is a link where you can actually just download the driver itself. And uh, I'll include that in the summary section below. Now, part one, like once you have all that set up, once you have your computer set up, you gotta basically, there's a couple things you need to do on your phone. One of which is making sure that you have USB debugging turned on. So you go into applications, development, USB debugging turned on, okay, good. Now uh, that's done. Then you want to make sure you have set CPU installed on your phone as well. And uh, now I basically had set CPU installed on this phone, so I'll just reinstall it. I actually saved the backup of it. Um, but you can find set CPU on the market or on XDA. Whoops. Uh, let's see. There it is. And now make sure you're, once you have that CPU installed, don't launch it, just say done. You're good to go. Now, to double check if your ACC drivers and SDK is set up properly, what you're going to want to do is make sure it connects through ADB. So we'll go ahead and connect the phone, pull up a prompt and uh... Okay, and what you also want to make sure is the fact that your phone is set to charge only. So under connect to PC on your settings, make sure your default connection type is charge only. Then connect your phone to your computer. Do do do. Damn it. There we go. You get the screen. And then you're done. It's fine. You don't you want to make sure HTC Sync is tur not turned on on your computer or else that will not work for you. Then go ahead and pull up a... Turn this off really quick. Go ahead and pull up a command prompt. Accessories. And you want to navigate on your command prompt where you have your SDK tools folder. So give it one moment. Let me get there really quick. Type CD. And since you do have USB debugging turned on, from there, you're just going to type ADB devices. 
Now, you don't have to do this part. I just like to do this so I can, you know, peace of mind to make sure I'm connected properly. Enter. There, never found my device. Exit. Okay, so you're connected properly. Now, now that you have that turned on and your phone's already connected to the thing, you take the uh, the zip file that you had downloaded, which will also, the link will also be included in the uh, summary below, and you extract it onto your desktop. I just named it the same name as the actual zip file. Open up the file. And you choose the bat file of your liking. Now, you don't have to do the overclock one. You can basically just do the Hulu fix, which is probably easier anyway. But, um, you know, I kind of want to rock the overclock one anyway. So, you know, that's another story. And then you double-click it. It's going to bring up a command prompt, locating access point, stuff like that. It's installing stuff, pushing stuff, so on and so forth. Okay, now this is where it gets tricky. Um, and this is where you can usually mess up. But what you want to do, now you want to take your phone. Because it says, now installing EBD, Evo 3D overclock, get ready for power. Go to set CPU, must be version 2.2.4 or higher. And set max frequency to 432, minimum frequency to 384. So, what we're going to do... Since uh, we'd already set up the CPU, we're going to take the phone. Oops. Open up set CPU. Oops. There we go. And that is up at the top. Okay, we're gonna auto we're gonna auto detect speeds. It's gonna ask for root access. Click allow and remember. Okay. Continue. Now you wanna set the max to four thirty two. Where'd you go? Four thirty two. The min of 384. See that? 432, 384. Okay. And then you go back to your home screen. And you shut off the screen. And then you wait like 10 to 15 seconds. I usually wait like 30 seconds or something. Just because you want to make sure it runs properly. If you don't wait the allotted time, uh, you will have issues trying to overclock your phone. Um, the overclock actually just won't work. Now, uh, once again, this is just a temporary route. They just got S off on the Sensation and on the Evo 3D. So, permanent route should be coming soon. I believe it uses a different exploit. Um, but yeah, that's okay. Then we run it. Ready? And go. Looks like it was uh, uh press A two two. Now install the Hulu fix. Continue. Now for the Hulu fix, just so you know, and you're done. That's it you are now officially overclocked. Now for the Hulu fix, uh, you have to make sure that when you when you rock it, uh, on the regular browser, you can just shut off mobile browsing in the settings. And on Dolphin browser, you just set it to uh, uh, mimic IE or something, or like a desktop, essentially. So let's go ahead and see if we can't overclock this motherfucker. Yep, okay, so now it's maximum one, there you go, 1188.
and so you go back device selection auto detect speeds again there you go 1,732, which is 1.8 gigs. And set to on demand. And for Hulu, go to your browser. And go to settings. Make sure mobile view is turned off. There you go. Fully working Hulu. I know, relatively. I turn my Wi-Fi instead. Working Hulu. Hey, you. Yeah, no, don't give me the sultry James Dean smirk. What the hell were you thinking kissing? And then, double check root, go into a terminal. SU. Look at that, we got roots. And that's how you do it. As soon as you restart your phone, then you don't have root anymore. And then you just wait for S off. Alright.